Hello and welcome to the ConsistentOptionsIncome.com Pairs Trading Course Lesson Number 2 Pairs Trading Examples. In the last lesson we got an overview of pairs trading. However, some of us are more visual learners so I thought it would be a good idea to show some chart examples of how pairs trades might actually work themselves out. Let's get started. Notice that the chart prices in this example along the right hand column are different. So we have two different stocks at two different prices. So it's going to be kind of hard to visually determine whether any one of these examples is profitable or not. However, that's not the main takeaway. What I want to communicate with these examples is that the main takeaway is how the pairs that we choose travel in very similar ways. If we're doing a good job in our pairs selection criteria, we're going to see the stocks involved in the pairs that we choose evolve in a very similar looking way. This is good for our pairs trading. Ideally, we find stocks to sell that are overbought, for lack of a better term. And also we find stocks to buy that are oversold. Again, we're not really looking for a classic overbought or oversold, but it's a good way to understand what we're looking for. This is our edge going into the trade. So as the stocks evolve, we should have an opportunity to profit. Okay, again here is one stock that's going pretty much in a downward direction and even on the next trade it's kind of going in a downward direction. And we can see that these two stocks travel in very similar ways. Now we don't care if both stocks go up or both stocks go down. We just want them to behave in a similar way. And we want to close the initial gap or the differential that was available when we entered the trade. As that gap gets closed, that's how we can profit. In this example, we want the short stock to go down more than the long stock goes down. Now, if both stocks were going up, we would want the long stock to go up more than the short stock goes down and this is how we make our profit. So here's some more examples. Again, we can see in this particular trade here, the stock charts are behaving in a very similar way and so on. The subsequent trade, very similar pattern. And the last trade is also very similar. Now, one of the questions that comes up a lot is, well, don't we want the long stock to go up and the short one to go down at the same time? Yeah, that would be great, but it's very hard in real stock trading to make that happen. You know, we don't know what's going to happen. All we want is for the stocks to behave in a similar way for pairs trading. Now, if the long stock did go up and the short stock did go down at the same time, obviously that would create a profit opportunity for us. But the converse is also true, that it could be very likely, if we weren't doing a good job picking our pairs, that the long stock could go down and the short stock could go up. So this would cause a loss situation for us. So we put a lot of time and effort in to finding pairs that travel in very similar ways. And this reduces our risk and also provides an opportunity for that stock to close that initial gap and provide a profit for us in a very low risk way. Okay, here's one more example. Again, these stocks continue to behave in a very similar pattern and this is good for us. Our edge is largely in our pair selection criteria. In other words, the pairs that we choose to trade will have this ability to travel in a very similar way. And if we then further find opportunities where there's some sort of gap in performance when we enter the trade, as those stocks travel in a similar way, that gap will get closed at some point and we can close the trade for a profit. Because of the low risk, you know, being long one stock and short the other, we have staying power and we can basically just wait around until our profit shows up. Okay, if you have any question on the content of this video, you can contact me at john at consistentoptionsincome.com or you could also check the website for more information. Alright, coming up next, lesson number three, how to find pairs to trade.